talking on, about something that, that Fred went off of, the crew in China eating their own food and stuff. To Chris, you've been now on this one project, you've been in three or four different locations and, and uh, what would I call them, uh, just different uh, lifestyles in a way, even though they're all in that part of the world except for Hungary. Right. What did you see you know, day to day with the crew and, and all that? How did that work out? The language is an issue, uh, work style is an issue. Yeah, you're exactly things. right. All those things are things you have to think about and deal with. Uh, each of these countries have their own film culture. They're often, if not quite as old, as old as ours, as proud as ours. Um, and they have a different workflow. You need to figure out how, and your studio you're working for has certain expectations, and so in the long run, you need to make sure that what you get is what you need, but you need to do it with humility and an understanding of the way those countries operate. For example, if you're in Morocco, um, they are, they're fantastic at location scouting and casting and all of that kind of stuff, but they have a slightly more laid back approach to the business side of things. So the deal memos that you might have expected to be done long before may not be done until the day of, and that's just the way they work. Um, you have to get used to that. And as you say, the second thing you need to do is be very, very careful about communication. I know that on, on Tyrant, for example, every single meeting we have, we we take detailed notes and distribute them because you cannot assume that people for whom English is a second language or sometimes a third language are understanding things in precisely the way you want them to understand them. And if they don't, it's your fault, not their fault. Um, so we are very careful to make sure that we communicate well. By the way, language is an enormous issue for us. Uh, we cast out of the UK and out of the United States, but after also out of uh, Romania and Hungary. And so if, even if you shot a pilot in, in Vancouver and then you watch it and notice that all your day players say sorry and house, that's a little bit of a problem, but it's an enormous issue uh, trying to cast Romanians to sound like um, some of the parts. Of, and there are many fine actors, but they, you know, they, they speak Romanian. Um, and Hungarians speak a language that no one understands. Don't, they don't know where it comes no, from. That's right. it's, it's, it's only related to Finnish. So, so language, uh, language is a particular problem in communication. It is a particular problem when you actually put things up on the screen that, that need to be understandable. We're lucky, uh, and by the way, uh, because of the television show, we don't bring a lot of people over. A couple of our ADs, one of our ADs is from the United States and one is from Britain. Um, but the keys are all Hungarian. Our DP happens to be a Hungarian who spent a lot of time in the United States and Canada and so is able to translate and that makes our life much easier. But when we moved to Istanbul, for example, we had an Israeli crew, a Turkish crew, American crew and some from other countries and that becomes a real challenge. It is also, by the way, for me, one of the great things about the television show. So to be honest with you, one of the pleasures of doing this is that we have a cast from all over the world and a crew from all over the world and it's a show about, in some ways, the question of whether we can actually bridge differences. So in a metaphorical way, to whatever extent we succeed, we are saying something about the subject of the show as well. In the long run, the studio can care less about that. Obviously, you just got to get something on the screen that works. But personally, it feels nice, which is good when things don't work out. I think an important thing Chris said is you really have to treat people with respect wherever you go. We all run into people who can, you know, directors or producers who just spout their mouths and they don't realize that those those people, even though they are foreigners or they don't look like us or talk like us, they all care about the movies and you really need to treat them right and treat all your, your crew the same and you'll get a lot better work out of everybody that way. Remember we're shooting in places, for example, in Morocco where if you're shooting during Ramadan, you have to be very careful about where you eat and drink and, and chew gum. Uh, you need to show respect for that. You bring American actresses to conservative Muslim countries and there are sometimes real issues about the way people dress. So you need to, and, and it's not just a question of being safe, it's a, it's a question of being respectful.